Hello YouTubers, uh, it's me again. It must seem as though um, I'm a raven lunatic. I seem to be um, doing more and more videos. Uh, uh, that's because I've got a lot to say, and so is my wife. But this one's very short, and it's basically a promise. It's a promise to a particular individual that I am itching to catch up with. And uh, it's not to be uh, to throw abuse at him. Uh, far, quite the opposite, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but it's to correct him and uh, now that I have the evidence that I, I was looking for which I found a long time ago it's only now that I'm actually starting to think far more confidently that uh, this individual needs to be exposed and um, if I see him street witnessing again in our town no matter where I am or what I'm doing if I find out where he is or I see that he's out there somewhere knocking on a door I will pull over my vehicle because I do I have seen him around and I will expose him quick resume on on the history of what, what I'm actually on about here no he's not a normal Jehovah's Witness he's a circuit overseer and of course they they visit every every few months and they they've um, this particular one strange um, <clears throat> it was about um, in fact he's probably due to actually move on more's the pity but uh, this particular individual was in our Kingdom Hall and I, I was already doing a lot of um, secret study by then. But I was very receptive to everything that this, this particular individual was saying while I was in the Kingdom Hall. And all of a sudden, in his address to the congregation, he changed tack. He just completely started, he just suddenly stopped and suddenly said, does anybody within this congregation have any old copies uh, of the watchtower going back into the 1800s maybe Do anybody have any very old copies of watchtowers of course everybody just sat there looking at each other and and, uh, and said no okay just thought I'd ask interesting now that came out of the blue that was completely out of context with what he was actually talking about and then in his next breath Nobody had actually asked him any questions, because you're not allowed to anyway, you just sit there listening. And um, he suddenly changed tack again. And within the next breath he then said, 1975, Frederick Franz did not say that the end of the world was going to happen in 1975. He didn't say that. It's a misconception. Everybody sat there looking at each other, a little bit confused as to why he's bringing this up. He said, I need to clear that up. He said that uh, he's, ne he's never said that. And, and there's nothing in the publications to suggest that we said as an organization that the end of the world was coming at that time. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Um, of course, I'd already been reading and doing some research and um, I was just actually in the process of going through some of the stuff that I'd found on the 1975 failed prophecy. And at that time, I went back that evening and by that weekend, I'd found 11 publications, Watchtower and Awake, and One Kingdom Ministry from 68 and 69 in particular, uh, that showed very clearly that they were talking about 1975 being the end of the bloody world. They really were. And on top of that, Google. Google. You can actually listen to Frederick Franz. And I've quoted it. I've just listened to it again. Uh, we know. We are near something. But we're not saying what. Everybody starts cheering and clapping. But then also he then says, September sundown. September the 5th. The loony year. 1975 ends um, then he goes on to say it again that it's going to end and I quote sundown September the 5th 1975 he says it twice that I can see or hear in that, that particular video so Mr Circuit Overseer I'm not going to mention your name because we do love you uh, and I don't want to do this out of spite, but when I do see you on a door, I will wait for you patiently. I won't disrupt you at the door. Uh, but if I see you street witnessing like I have done in the past, 
I will be stopping my vehicle and I promise you this I will be talking to you face to face because you lied to me you lied to my wife you lied to my children you lied to us you lied to that congregation and I, I cannot stand hypocrisy of that kind and I'm going to tell you that and refer you to Google refer you to your own Watchtower and Awakes not stuff that's apostate your own material and you need to be told this you cannot keep getting away with blindly telling lies and expecting people to just swallow it where the hell are you coming from do you think we're that stupid do you think this is not going to come back on you why don't you just speak the truth and be honest I tell you just a small video um, say lots of prayers and um, keep praying for forgiveness and all those that want to come out please just wake up wake up you're wasting your lives in this this is not the true Christian message and you know that Deuteronomy 18 false prophecies read it please let's move on